Hi campers, we are in the Live Oak section on Odesto Island. This is Odesto State Park um, down in South Carolina. This is where um, there is RV parking, uh, trailer parking, and primitive tent sites. There is a video on the primitive tent sites as well. You can see the landscape is so lush. It has a really nice jungle vibe. Um, and the energy here is just so laid back. It's such a great place to come and camp. The beach is maybe a 30 second drive, which is, you know, awesome. Um, and you're really far out there in the island or on the island. So here's your ranger station right as you pull in. So yeah, you're really um, far out there onto the island. So what's amazing is like your stargazing at night is absolutely gorgeous. Right as you pull in like to your left, your bathhouse, and then this is like your picnic areas right behind the ranger station. I'll pass that bathhouse again for you on the way out. Now you're going to see um, the sites that you can more like RV sites. And then you have your rustic tent parking. And right past these cars to your right, there's a trail and that leads to your primitive uh, camping. Those are really pretty. Um, all those tent sites are on the marsh. So the sunsets there must be like absolutely amazing. Once again, they're very um, private, secluded. There's a, a lot of like natural barrier. You can see that all these sites are really nice size. Goes back up to water. This is 114. That has a really nice water view. One thing you want to be sure of when you come to camp um, at a Desto Beach or Desto or the Live Oak section is because you're on an island, there's not a lot of stores. So you really want to make sure that you have all of your supplies um, before you come and you set up. Uh, there's a very small food store um, with minimal things. I think there's only two restaurants. So definitely like make sure you have everything that you would need. Also, if you're coming with uh, full waste tanks, uh, waste water, etc., uh, you definitely want to make sure that you hit the dump station before you come in here. The dump station is actually um, not in either one of the parks. It's not in the Live Oak section, and it's not on the beach section. Um, it's, it's on 174 when you're coming in. If you're coming in, it would be on your left-hand side before you even pull into the park. But look at this. This is like all these Spanish moss trees. They're all mature. Um, there's a ton of just like lush palms. A couple of the uh, other videos, you can see how like the landscape changes along the beach. It's a lot more palms. It's beautiful. You should check out those videos. Uh, either side you stay at, you really cannot go wrong. You're either a 30 second drive to the beach or you are a short walk right over the dunes and you're at the beach. We just came from the sunrise, um, which was really nice. The park is open. Sometimes state parks open a little later. This is Site 91. That's a nice size site. They're all great size. You can't go wrong with any, any one of them that you stay. 93. sites on both sides. Also too, um, this place does not have laundry. So we did not realize that. We, we were under the impression that it did. So if you're planning for an extended time, uh, we found that the closest laundromat is about 45 minutes away. So you definitely want to prepare for that as well.
that bathhouse that we passed earlier is coming up on your left. There you are. And that's really it. We're coming to the end of the tour. Um, if this was helped to you, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and um, give us a thumbs up. That would be so helpful. And we wish you peace, love, and detours. Happy travels, everybody.